at the beginning of this pandemic, on the second Sunday of the shutdown, we read a poem for the benediction of our virtual worship. The poem was Lockdown by Franciscan priest Richard Hendrick. And I've returned to that poem this week as I've been preparing to talk about Sabbath this coming Sunday. I believe this poem gives us a picture of what Sabbath can mean, of what can happen when we Sabbath. But even the act of reading a poem, of taking the time to slow down or listen to a poem, feels like an act of Sabbath in and of itself. So I hope you'll pause, rest, and listen to this poem, Lockdown, by Brother Richard Hendrick. Yes, there is fear. Yes, there is isolation. Yes, there is panic buying. Yes, there is sickness. Yes, there is even death. But they say that in Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds again. They say that after just a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes, but gray and blue and clear. They say that in the streets of Assisi, people are singing to each other across the empty squares, keeping their windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of family around them. They say that a hotel in the west of Ireland is offering free meals and delivery to the housebound. Today, a young woman I know is busy spreading flyers with her number through the neighborhood so that the elders may have someone to call on. Today, churches, synagogues, mosques, and temples are preparing to welcome and shelter the homeless, the sick, the weary, all over the world, people are slowing down and reflecting. All over the world, people are looking at their neighbors in a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to a new reality, to how big we really are, to how little control we really have, to what really matters, to love. So we pray and we remember that yes, there is fear, but there does not have to be hate. Yes, there is isolation, but there does not have to be loneliness. Yes, there is panic buying, but there does not have to be meanness. Yes, there is sickness, but there does not have to be disease of the soul. Yes, there is even death, but there can always be a rebirth of love. Wake to the choices you make as to how to live now, today. Breathe. Listen, behind the factory noises of your panic, the birds are singing again. The sky is clearing, spring is coming, and we are always encompassed by love. Open the windows of your soul, and though you may not be able to touch across the empty square, sing. I hope you'll join us this Sunday as we explore Sabbath and its power to reorient our lives. These days, we could all use a little more of what God offers us in Sabbath. Grace and peace, friends.